What's up team? My name is Tara MT and welcome to Cut the Crop. This video is two weeks overdue, but today we're going to be talking about Adobe Symposium 2019 and what were the highlights and disappointments of it. Now, guys, I have to use my brain really hard here right now to think of a highlight for this year's symposium. Aha! I've got it! I think there was only really one that stood out and that would be the women. I know probably 90% of you can actually agree with me on that one. Because this year I felt like I didn't really learn much. Last year's symposium was a completely different story. I had my notebooks out and I was writing so much things down. But this year, that did not happen. I took my notebook out like once or twice and I wrote probably nothing in them. And I remember at one point I took out my laptop and I was actually counting each time someone said experience because literally every second word was experience. And we're hearing a lot about experience these days, not just with Adobe, but with our own companies that we work for. Everyone wants to make the latest, the greatest, the newest experiences. Because once something just becomes routine and we're just repeating it over and over again, it gets boring. So this new generation, or new generations that keep coming up. They want something new. They want something fresh. They want new experiences. They want to be treated like they're a person and not a number. <laughs> Think about this, right? If Adobe Symposium 2019 was only good for the food, you pretty much just spent $200 for an overpriced buffet. So probably the most disappointing thing for myself and many of my colleagues was that it was super, super sales driven. It's supposed to be like a creative experience conference. I felt like this year's event was extremely backwards when you compare it to 2018 symposium. Now on day one, which is the big keynote day, we had two sessions. We had the sessions for like marketers and business people, and then the sessions for creatives. And that was all right, it was okay, but it was, it was still very sales pitchy. It was, there was only a couple of speakers that really stood out. And for the most part, when I was walking around the event itself, it just seemed like business people everywhere. And I could not see a creative or graphic designer or whatever anywhere in the building. Until, of course, the creative keynote when they all just suddenly appeared out of nowhere, probably from their little design caves. Now, one thing that really bugged me was the presets show after the first day. Now, there was like a time for everyone to have drinks and have a networking session. And it was great. It was a really exciting thing to hear that the presets were going to play and they were going to do a live show. Now, the disappointing part of that, though, was they only played for like 10 minutes. They only played like one of their songs instead of playing like My People and Kicking and Screaming, all the classics that they're really known for. And probably half the people there were expecting, you know, My People to go, <laughs> that did not happen. And instead, they just played the six minute long deep house cut called Vibrate. And like you can imagine, being deep house and all, it was literally the word vibrate repeated over and over again. I did enjoy the song, but it just, it, it needed more presets. That's what we were there to see. We were there to see the presets play their music. But they just, they just didn't. Yo, one thing real quick that I forgot to mention, the crowd was super, super awkward. Back to the video. On the second day, I got locked out of one of the sessions that I thought would have been the most beneficial for me. And I made a whole live video of this on my Facebook account, which I might just share a couple clips here with you. When we got there, it was literally 10.59. So we were on time and we got locked out. This, uh, this actually caused a bit of a commotion around the area. So people were kind of like, oh, you know, you can't do that. Like we actually signed up for this course and you're just locking us out. And they're like, yeah, well, you should have been there on time. And they're like, they basically told us that, um, yeah, well, five minutes before the actual session, they opened it up to anyone to go in. And it's just like... Yeah, that was kind of a major disappointment because it was, a, it was talking about design thinking solved. And, you know, those are the kind of things that you want to know as a designer. Adobe is pushing this whole experience thing, right? And, you know, like... They're an experienced company, which one guy actually pointed out. And they just were terrible at dealing with all these angry people that wanted to get into their session. Last year, 
I actually got a bunch of freebies and stuff that were just so cool. Got this beanie, wow. and we got a um, Adobe notebook. Very cool, very cool. And even like last year, I got this thing. But yeah, I think you can tell by now that I'm really disappointed with this year's Adobe Symposium. And I hope that they do take this as feedback for the next year's one. I really do hope that there's a bigger focus on uh, the creative side of things, maybe less sales and business driven. And yeah, just hopefully just more things for us creative people to do. Anyway, that's it for now. My name is Tarot MT and thank you for watching the very first episode of Cut the Crop. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment and share this video around if you enjoyed it. I'm sure there's plenty of you out there that agree with me and maybe there's some of you that don't agree with me. I would like to hear all your opinions in the comments below. So anyway, shout out to Adobe. You guys are still cool. And shout out to the creators that I met at the networking sessions. You guys are cool too. I hope to see you all there at the 2020 Symposium. Thanks for watching everyone. And until next time, Cut the Crop.